evening, Toastmaster Frankie. Procrastination is not what you think it is. We've all had, uh, we've just had table topics and we've said some things that I think everybody is clear about this usual form of procrastination. We think it's, oh, I'm going to put off my assignment until the last day it's due. Oh, I need to clean my desk. It's all right, I'll do it after dinner. These sort of things are what I like to call trivial procrastination or little p procrastination. So what is big p procrastination? What is really the most detrimental form of procrastination? Another way of thinking about it is what's existential procrastination? Existential or big P procrastination is do I really want to do this course? Is this really what I want to do with my life? I'm not sure. I'll just get through this year and I'll deal with the next year and the next year comes and I'll deal with it the year after and then all of a sudden I'm a doctor or a lawyer or this or that and I don't think I really want it. Big P procrastination is not taking responsibility for your life. It's not taking ownership as an adult for the choices that you make that will affect your future. If you Google Unimel procrastination, the first link that comes up is a resource from the Unimel counselling page that walks you through some steps to deal with trivial procrastination. Things to do with you know, getting your motivation right and these sorts of things. And something that stuck out to me when I was researching this was that there's nothing there that really addresses big P procrastination. Nothing for us as young 20 to 30 year olds or however you may be, however old you may be, wherever you are in your life, of perhaps how do we deal with some of these big crises or big decisions that we have to make? And how, in fact, do we deal with the procrastination of putting off the, the decisions that need to be made? So the first, the first thing that the Unimel resource says is that we need to improve our motivation. I'd say that's not quite right. Maybe when you're dealing with trivial procrastination, but big P procrastination, you need to be thinking not just improving my motivation, but analysing my motivation. What do I want to do with my life? What am I passionate about? Where do I see myself in five, ten years? Last year, I dropped out of medicine. I did the first semester of medicine and then my mom got sick for about six weeks and she was in hospital. And during those six weeks, I had the opportunity to step back and say, hey, why am I doing this course? I'm going to put this course off for another six years, for another, for another six months and then start again. Or do I not want to start again at all? And actually confronting that and saying, okay, is this really what I want to do? Is this my real motivation? Is this my real passion? And that was a very turbulent time for me. It was an extremely emotionally, it was an emotional roller coaster in my life, changing from medicine to what I'm doing now. Which brings me to my second point. The Unimel counseling page will say that in dealing with procrastination, we need to be thinking about managing our emotions. We all hear about it, the typical oh yeah, you know, do some mindfulness meditation or whatever. Forget about bad feelings, guys. I'd say when we're dealing with big P procrastination, we need to be thinking, we need to not be managing our emotions, but addressing the root causes of our emotions. One of the main things that comes up is anxiety. Anxiety about these big decisions. Where am I going to apply for university? Am I going to move? What am I doing with this relationship? Anxiety about if I make this choice, what will happen? Will I be good at what I change into? Should I stay in this field? Medicine was a high paying, highly respected career path. And I said no. And I was very anxious about where that would lead me in my life. Sorry. And one of the main causes of anxiety was how I had to confront how I had to confront my change in identity. 
Which brings me to my last point. Big P procrastination, we often deal with something, a change in identity. The UniMel counseling page says, when we're dealing with trivial procrastination, we have to be dealing with changes in attitude. Change my attitude to become more motivated to do this or that. Change my attitude to put this in a different light. But with big P procrastination, we're often dealing with circumstances that are like, I'm shifting from, as I said, a doctor to whatever. And in our culture, we actually introduce ourselves to that. I'm Levi, da 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 what are you doing? Well, I'm doing medicine. I'm a doctor. This is my profession. This is what I'm studying to become. And it's actually, I think, quite a big part of a lot of people's identity. What is their profession? Where does that place you in regards to your peer group? And when you're making a big decision that will affect that sort of identity choice, the most important thing for people at our age, at any age really, but I think particularly in our early 20s, is us asserting our adulthood. And I think that's really important. A lot of us have just come out of high school and we still have a very you know, strong relationship with our parents and so forth. But actually stepping up and saying, look, I know my parents wanted this for me, but maybe that's not what I want for me. Or maybe I've got other plans. You know? And I'm going to take ownership of that decision and assert my adulthood. And I'm not going to procrastinate and just let that decision go on. While time goes by, I'm still working on this career path or I'm still in this relationship. I'm going to take ownership be an adult, make this decision. Yes, this is not or this is or is not what I want to do. So in summary, I hope I've highlighted that for everybody here, there's two forms of procrastination. A small P, trivial stuff. And I think we all know some of the strategies that are used to deal with little P procrastination. But big P procrastination, there's some other things that we might need a little bit of guidance on. We might need to be reflective and analysing. We might need to be, uh, we need to address the root cause of our emotions, and we need to uh, confront the fact that we might be facing a change in identity. Thank you.